how would you describe uh, maybe briefly um, your training methodology, your philosophy of, of training, of practice? You're asking me in Italian to be brief in my explanations. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> you know I can talk, Mark. But anyways, uh, how have things changed? I think that so much depends on, you know, at the beginning of the season, uh, setting down as far as the goals and objectives, seeing what the team what the team is going to be like and what the sort of system that you're going to put into place that then really comes out in the day to day in the day to day training sessions mm -hmm. when you're involved in in the, in the professional world um, there are constant changes uh, 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 players change teams uh, from from year to year so you have to go over when you're coaching a national team uh, the one thing I learned very quickly is never to assume that the players even though they're coming back from their professional seasons uh, are in tune with what is happening from what we did in the past and and so buying into the buying into the system and refreshing of the system uh, again I think the whole aspect of the the vol when, when I said earlier how much volleyball has changed it's gone from a quantitative where practices used to be before in the old scoring system where you trained you know four to five hours a day now it's all down to the qualitative side of things where you train you know like I always talked about the training in the reality is the most important is the most important and what is training in reality that every ball that you touch is the most important every set that you make every pass that you make and how are we measured on our successes by a scoreboard so keeping score doing uh, obviously the scrimmage games the wash the, the wash games but more importantly also it comes down to the you're going to do that uh, uh, often but at the same time there's the individual and the technical necessities that need to be worked out there's times where, you know, you've had, uh, where I've had many a, a training sessions just with two players, whether it be a setter and a middle player, because of their timing situations, maybe weren't off, and so therefore working on those a bit more, uh, a little barrel, maybe working on a little bit more specific athleticism aspects or or defensive aspects. So I, I think that with with every season or with every with every week and every season. Uh, you change and adapt to the situations that are presented that are presented to you, but keeping in mind that we are measured on a we are measured on a wins loss basis. We're measured on a scoreboard with a scoreboard, and so therefore that competitive aspect uh, has to be part of of your daily training session, even if it's little fun games. But that's what we thrive to do. We thrive to be successful. <laughs>